China's biggest microblog website, China Weibo, is increasing its censorship and surveillance of its posts. Users of Chinese microblogs will soon be required to use their real names to register on Chinese microblogging sites. Real name registration doesn't mean that users have to use their real names. They can continue to use the screen names they've been using anonymously, but they have to file their actual name and their state ID number with their microblogging provider. Ostensibly, the purpose for this is to confirm that they're real people and their account is not a spam account. But it also allows the government to hold them legally responsible for anything that they say online. As with traditional media, Weibo functions as a mirror on society. While many topics, like China's power transition, are being banned on social media, posts about pollution, corruption, and government negligence spread like wildfire. China's netizens attacked Beijing's government for withholding the truth about air pollution. They reposted and discussed at length the U.S. Embassy's independent air data. In the end, Beijing's government caved and started publishing more pollution stats on its own website. It will at least accelerate the government leaders' thinking um, about the rate at which people are uh, disseminating information and um, um, showing their voice. And that acceleration uh, will cause them to ponder. This is the first message sent from a high-speed train that crashed on July the 23rd in China's Zhejiang province. Not only a cry for help, it saved tens of lives. It has also triggered a wave of unprecedented citizen journalism on China's microblog. Within 10 hours, the message had been reposted over 100,000 times. Before censors deleted it, one offending post read, quote, China, please slow down your breakneck pace. Wait for your people. Wait for your soul. Wait for your morals. Wait for your conscience.